is up YouTube with Team Blocketer again and today we are going to be starting a new build project including the one that we have done with Pixelmon Town we are going to be setting a new one which is going to be a survival multiplayer spawn type of world just for fun and just building even though I don't really know how to build and shit so we shall see what happens well currently I don't know what I'm going to do for the first project maybe you can put some shops um okay we shall see right now i'm waiting for the world to world to load because um we're actually only doing a super flat world so there's no mess up biome or whatever i realize in flat worlds the nether biome is in flat so that is something to think about then maybe we can also do a nether hub but i am not good at that type of thing at all especially with nether location and stuff i'm really bad at that kind of stuff so yeah this world is taking forever to load really 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 long i would appreciate it if it loads now oh maybe now oh no Oh no, oh, maybe I'll just take this time to clean the computer screen. Yeah, clean it. All them fingerprints off. Alright. <clears throat> now I'm just gonna get a drink. And I'm gonna be right back when the world finishes the load. This game. This shit doesn't load. Because you're back and that literally took 10 minutes or more to load. Jesus Christ. Alright. So, right now we are on Y4, apparently. Which the freaking tunnelist dream set up. Fucked up. Uh, whatever, it's okay. Doesn't really matter. But now we have a higher build limit, so. Okay, I just stay about here. Set our spawn point. Do daylight cycle false. All right, now we are ready to go. We want to hold that down. Okay. All right. So what? I guess what we want to build first. Maybe along this, um, we're just gonna make a so called pathway. Pathways are usually tree by tree. What we want is stone slabs, and we also want stone brick stands. So we're gonna be doing this. I can't hear any things. What? Okay. Turning up my volume. Now I can hear it. Alright. So what we want to do here is actually I think I'm doing this. That works as a pathway. That's what um I think I used to do when I used to play MCPE back then. So why not let's just use that, um, so this is how you do it like that, or actually you want, since we do a new block, you might as well make use of them, they actually blend in with the stone bricks quite well, really well in fact, okay so we're gonna make this whole space, we are not gonna bother fencing it off, um, so first things first, we want, um, Slaps. What? Oh, we want stone bricks. 
we're gonna make our first shop which is gonna be a diamond so I need to trade for diamonds so um, what we're gonna do is okay there's a monster egg stone bricks non monster egg no like that quite sure there was a 2 by 2 type thing so what's that up there so let's just build up here yeah, why do all the blocks sound the same to me never mind <sighs> okay so here is where we enter so called like so oh we want to put on there 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 and then we want to get a diamond because we want to do that pixel art we're gonna get the different blue stained glass because we will need probably all the types light and normal one yeah um gonna extend it out by one here as you look closely there seems to be about one five blocks I guess Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. One. Yeah, it should be about six. Then, um, we're just gonna build outline. One there. Wait, yeah, um, one up for both. But you know, I think using an item frame would be smarter. That's what I used to do. So, this is what we're gonna do here. I'll put a diamond inside. Yeah, that is smarter. I can put one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, one up. One, two. One, two. Let's see, after you get out by one, we want to go in by two again. Now to that up by two. What else? It's starting to look like a diamond. So apparently this is high up by more. This is by one, two, then it's by three, and this is by four. So One, two, three. Two, three, four. And this one is going to gonna up. One, one, two. Wait, no, this one is going up by two. Then it's going up by one, one. Um, music no thank you so then after that this one is going up by another two and then one after that they both send one more join it up like that that seems to be the diamond shape so one there's like white color so we might need white stained glass as well i cannot remember how to make this but we shall try um let's see so what we want white stained glass from here onwards um one two yes people this is how i do pixel art it's a unique way <laughs> to do pixel art Okay, this is actually really difficult to do. 
Um, from there we need to cut down one here, like so. And you cut across one. We're gonna fit in where everywhere it should be white. Okay, so we want blue. I, mean, I think I'm gonna be using dark blue. Wait, what happens if we put light blue for basically everything? Then we have to replace the light blue with um, darker blue to make it look like a proper diamond. I think that will work out just fine. Oh, this looks weird. Yeah, we need darker shades and... Hmm, I'm not good at pixel art. Diamond. So they want really darkish as here. Well this is smart putting everything on there and then we place it um up one one two three four cut across here. Two up. Two like so. And down. I do not understand how to make this this cyan. I think cyan can be used for basically everything else. Um, the corners here, cyan, cyan. Ah, this is close enough. I think cyan should replace all of the. I think sign should replace all the light below normally but I can't really tell the difference between the two though because if you replace it then we can have another option of a lighter shade for us to use for this build so let's just try it okay I think we might want grey instead of white maybe um, cyan okay. that looks a bit nicer mm, now all we are going to be using is the light blue stained glass which is everywhere in between the Or the white. The white right here is light. Wait, this is cyan. So everything's looking cyan now. We need to replace the cyan with light blue stained glass. Which cuts off over here goes up like so 
up to and then this whole chunk this looks close enough to me oh I get it now oh I understand why it's not looking as great wow I feel like an idiot right now so you see this is supposed to be dark blue then it's supposed to be this color surrounding this whole chunk that looks more like it right so now oh uh, we need to delete this whole thing actually to be honest with you oh this is just like building this is how you have to usually build you, it usually backfires and you have to just redo the whole thing this is normal but it's still going to work out um it should work out this yes. okay and i do not I don't know why I don't like this. Why does it look like my arrows are freaking getting blocked? Can't see where my arrow is shooting. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Okay, whatever. Um, right now, all we need to do is just focus on building this. Okay. I think what we want to do is we want to make the entire base first with all, all out of cyan then we'll edit things from there which actually makes um, better sense because I can't really tell the difference much difference between um, light blue and cyan because I the sun is actually shining on my computer and I can barely see anything because my clutter only blocks off 50% of the light so I can't really see much I can't really see the colors too clearly this actually looks like just in between okay the shape looks right that's the thing okay so what we want is we want um why does it look like dark green to me green stained glass is that dark green? No. Um, let's see. Move that up. Okay, we'll use blue then. Doesn't really matter. Like one above here. Okay, then now we want to do this. All right. Now we want gray, like gray. Um, green, light gray, light gray, light gray, light gray. Okay. So now we have light gray right here. What we want to do is we want to put three long here, and then put white there, and then along this line we want to put one white one okay one white one gray and then wait oh we want sign there we want white gray white gray and then here will be light blue stained glass Should that is what it should be like at least okay so that means now we can rotate it more like a diagonally now so that works 
Okay, see, and there's no light in here anymore. Um, then we want to put this line here white. Because um, the only reason why it's white is because it just registers that sh sh the sunlight is shining from that particular angle. So we want light grey there. Wait, where do we want light grey? Below that white. And then we want a white diagonally, diagonally down. That looks nicer, not too nice yet though. So you want this area to be, wait, and the L, you want the, red, the two here to be light blue. Cyan, cyan, then we want one, two, three, light blue. Middle here, we want it all to be light blue. We want it to be light grey right there. Um, right there. And then, right here at the top of this. Wait, apparently we need it to go blue up one more. Oh, so I want light blue there. Um, what color is this? I'm gonna assume it was. Um. Yeah, this should be gray. And this was cyan. And the white should be there. And two gray. Starting to turn out nicely. Okay, then we need everything else basically to be um shoot wrong like that one gray light blue and there's cyan one two three no wait, this is cyan and this is all light blue Um, let's see here. Basically, everything else here would be like blue as well. Yeah, that's basically the diamond, guys. I'm not too good at this at all. Try placing a white or gray. Yeah, that's the diamond. Fuck this shit. I'm like so good at this. There, that looks better. Okay, that actually looks like a diamond. I hope. I think time set eighteen thousand. Um. I think we need to turn our brightness down. Yeah. Oops. Okay. Let's see. That works really. That actually looks like a diamond. Nice. Okay. So now we will focus on the interior. Now we're finally done with the damn glass. Yeah. So. What we want is we want this to go like that. We're gonna basically make this go around. By the way, guys, we're not gonna copy the pixel art at the back either. That is gonna be a piss off to do if you actually do that. Um, we're just gonna make it a stone brick wall. Next episode, I don't know what we might be doing. We shall see. Maybe a Widow Scout shop because we do need. 
For this shot, we do need a Payment Chest 2, which uses Hoppers. We might be using Trap Chest because we might need a lot of room actually. I'm gonna extend this out by 1, 1. So we're gonna make the walls right here. Alright, so basically this is going to be the first episode of us, this is going to be make, us making a diamond shop. This is probably already been a 25 minute video, so if you just go work on something like an iron farm next, right, right now, it's probably not going to have, uh, probably not going to have enough time. So yeah, that is the build right there, we are done, that looks awesome. Kind of. <laughs> I suck at building. I'm not really that great in building at all. Actually, why not just make a spiral stair staircase instead of using this? Like. Why? Not. That works too. Okay, that works. Um, now we need to focus on the lighting in here, which is not that great actually. Well, we put glowstone along the walls. We have put time set um two thousand. Um, so what we want to do is we want to put the chests along here and we're going to put that, the stairs right for the interior we're going to actually we can't break that down can we yeah we can't so um, we're going to put this right there we want to trap chests Wait, and what are the type of chests which you can put in between blocks? Oh, you put trap chest and then normal chest. I see. So that's how this works. Chat, chat, chest, chest. That works. Might as well put the payments right there. Did you know that wouldn't be a smart idea? Um, maybe at the entrance? For this build, we need more than that. Amount of space. Do you know, just extend this out by one more. Sign and um, back here, oh, this payment chest spent like one boom. Then we need a hopper. Okay, that works. <sighs> Alright, we're done. With that. Okay, now we need to put up the trades. How about this? Um, 16 iron ingots equals to 1 diamond. Yeah, and then wait. Sixty four iron ingots 
equals to one diamond. Um, let's see what else. Three emeralds. Three emeralds. Wait. Let's see. But you know the thing about it, what the hell are you even doing this? Hmm. Oh, I see. I just put the lol. What of this? Why not? Got that down. Sixty-four iron ingots equals to one diamond. One emerald equals to zero point five diamond. Okay, two emeralds for a diamond. Why not? Those emeralds can be used for like um thirty eight bottom flesh for one emerald. So 38 rotten flesh is technically meaning 10, 38 rotten flesh for one diamond. I don't think that's too worth it. So what we'll do is we got two diamonds. Um, we got the emeralds on. Let's go. Gold. 32 gold ingots goes to one diamond. Um, enchanted books. It goes ten depends order form for enchanted. For trading books with diamonds, um, we know we need a book and quill. Basically, right here, order number four. Please place your orders. Like example. So touch one, I, and then trade, order one, done. Hmm, what else do we need? Honestly, it's who this? Okay. And then we are gonna put a chest there. Alright, that is just that. Payments chest boom let's see what else would actually one want any other items?
it depends if <laughs> oh my song put in order form form as well if needed all right now um yeah, the diamonds 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 Boom! We should be about done here. Otherwise, we'll just do another layer of glowstone right there. Otherwise, right now, nothing much anymore. This looks really, really nice from afar. It actually looks like a diamond. Yay! Okay, good. The ball isn't glitched out anymore. I'm too used to shooting moving targets like that. Yeah. Is that a sheep off it? Or can I still snipe it anyway? I like playing around with these type of things usually. I just. I'm probably gonna spend some time playing around with this as well after I stop this video. Anyway guys, that's the first episode of the SMP spawn world. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that build. It is a diamond shop which actually looks really really nice. Yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. Peace.